I'm Emma. Um, I'm anorexic. Time for your weigh-in. You know, at the end of the day, you're a good person. You would never hurt a soul. In fact, the only person you've ever hurt is yourself. Most girls I know would kill to have an eating disorder. Emma, when you first got here, you thought that if you ate something bad, you were bad. Emma is amazing, by the way. But Emma's not amazing, she's anorexic. That's just her disease. It has nothing to do with who she is. Well, no one pities you, Emma. You don't have to be in this hospital. Why bother? Why bother with me? I mean, I don't even like me. Emma, what do you have in you? Four words you never say to Emma. Oh, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Seriously, what's wrong with you? I am actually in the hospital being treated for anorexia. It's like I told you, honey. You must get that you're killing herself with this passive form of slow suicide. I don't understand how someone so cool and smart and beautiful can do this to herself. Chocolates? You do understand that I'm anorexic, right? I'm not gonna eat a box of freaking chocolate, Leo. I thought you were better. I'm not better. Okay, I'm not better. And I keep waiting for someone to figure that out. And they don't. I mean, of course they don't. Because as long as I say the right thing and I act the right way, they're happy. Because that means that they cured me, right? It's just like when I eat in front of you. You get so proud, like you're some type of hero. Like you fixed me. My or God, something. Emma. You, I just... You wanted me to be normal. I know, but I'm not, and I'm never gonna be. Don't say that, Emma. I know you, and this... No, you don't. I keep thinking that you do, Leo, but you don't. This may never get better. I didn't want you to see me the way that I saw myself. Dad, really? I'm fine. And I have felt so alone for so long. I didn't know why this was happening to me, and all this time there's been a reason. I will never understand you, Mom. I hate you. I didn't want our relationship to change, Mom, but I couldn't stop. Oh, I'm not hungry. You have to eat. I know. You're not leaving until you clean your plate. I spoke to your doctors, and I haven't given you any more than what you're used to eating there. Mom, this is a lot more. And I was hungry at first, then, uh, after a while I got used to it, I guess. And the more I thought about it, the more I figured, if I don't need lunch, maybe I don't need breakfast or dinner either. And then it just kind of, um, it, it kind of became a new project for me. You know, seeing how long I could go without eating any food. Not eating was all I thought about. I didn't care about the fact that I didn't have any friends. I just... All I cared about was making it through another day without eating.